They told us it was the lion, the mighty roar, the golden mane, the symbol of power, pride and royalty. But what if I told you that the so-called king of the jungle doesn't even live in one? And that somewhere deep in the real jungles of Asia lurks a rival, silent, solitary and perhaps more deserving of the crown? Today on Net Nura, we ask the question, who's really the king of the jungle, the lion or the tiger? The title, King of the Jungle, is so common, it's become cultural fact. Movies, books, national emblems, even children's songs crown the lion as king. But here's the catch. Lions don't live in jungles. Their real home, open grasslands, dry savannas, the African plains, not dense, humid forests. So, how did this mismatch begin? Some trace it back to colonial writers and early European explorers who used the word jungle to mean any wild, untamed place, not necessarily a rainforest. Others say it was metaphorical. The lion's social structure, a pride, was seen as regal a kingdom, a throne, a ruler. Lions became symbols of courage and royalty across civilizations from the British Empire to ancient Mesopotamia. But was it fact or fantasy? Now meet the tiger. Larger, heavier, stronger, more powerful. Unlike lions, tigers actually live in the jungle, from the steamy mangroves of the Sundarbans to the bamboo forests of China. They don't need a pride, they don't share territory, they hunt alone, kill silently, rule invisibly. A male Bengal tiger can weigh up to 500 pounds with muscles built for ambush. Their bite force, one of the strongest of all big cats. They leap farther, swim better, stalk quieter, they don't roar to declare dominance. They don't need to. Their silence speaks louder. So why weren't they crowned king? Let's talk numbers. In a one-on-one -on -one battle, the tiger has the upper hand. More mass, greater agility, more muscle packed into every step. Even in captivity, when lions and tigers were pitted against each other in unfortunate historical spectacles, from Roman arenas to early zoos, records show that tigers often came out on top. Sure. Lions rely on teamwork. Tigers don't need backup. Zoologists agree, if these two apex predators were to face off in a neutral jungle environment, the tiger's sheer size and strategy would likely give it the win. But here's the twist. Being king isn't just about winning fights. Lions are unique among big cats. They form families, hierarchies, armies. They raise cubs together, guard territory as a group, hunt in sync. They lead not alone, but together. A lion's power is in its pride. Tigers, they are lone rulers, masters of stealth, sovereigns without subjects. So which is more kingly, the one who leads a kingdom or the one who reigns alone without need for praise? So who is the real king of the jungle? The lion crowned by humans, admired for leadership and mythologized in every corner of the world? Or the tiger, the silent sovereign of the jungle, unmatched in raw power, unmatched in presence? Maybe the answer isn't who could win, but who we chose to win. The lion may wear the crown, but the tiger never needed one. Because some rulers don't announce their reign, they just rule. Unseen, unchallenged and undeniably powerful. Let us know what you think. Who's your king of the jungle?